Shalom Ubracha, this is Baruch Felberman. So many places in Eretz Yisrael are so rich in history that even the most unassuming site is still filled with a tremendous, fascinating background story. The Waldorf Astoria Hotel in the heart of Jerusalem is such a site. Originally built in 1929 under the initiative of the Supreme Muslim Council and the Mufti Husseini Yimach Shemo, the Palace Hotel, as it was called then, was intended to showcase the presence of Muslims in Jerusalem. However, it faced stiff competition when the King David Hotel opened just two blocks away in 1931. By 1935, it had become the least favored choice and thus was leased by the British Mandate government where the Peel Commission was convened in 1936. Interestingly, Baruch Katinka, the constructor, who also, was also a member of the Haganah, familiar with the building's layout, he strategically installed microphones to eavesdrop on closed meetings of the commission. The Haganah learned that the commission would divide the land between Jews and Arabs based on population centers, resulting in the Pale Commission not including the Negev in our state. Thus, by 1947, the Zionist leadership was prepared for the UNSCAP visit by settling the Negev in numerous points and the UN partition plan did indeed allocate the Negev to the new Jewish state. After 1948, it served as the Ministry of Industry and Trade before being sold in 2007. The building was then transformed into the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in April of 2014, preserving the original ornate limestone facade adorned with arched windows and intricate carvings. Today, what began as a political maneuver has evolved into a stunning hotel nestled in the heart of Jerusalem with a story to tell and offering a place to stay that is just a short stroll from the Kotel Hamaravi.